Hey guys, it is Crystal Lachelle, Chrissy K, whatever you want to call me. People call me both. My grams are Chrissy K. My channel is Crystal Lachelle. So, I am getting back into these magnetic lashes. When they first came out, Ardell came out with them like first. And by first, I mean like the first drugstore to do um, magnetic lashes. And I tried them and they were trash. Um, I have small eyes and I have to cut all of my lashes. So what happened for me was like where the where they were it just didn't fit so they got some new new and it comes with the liners so these are the Ardell ones so I'm gonna be trying these again but Ilor who makes some of my favorite lashes by the way they have some too with the magnetic liner and then the lash so we're gonna do a battle and see which one is better to see which one is the real bay what I didn't see was how much they are gonna check ulta.com real quick and see how much these babies retail from because that's where I got them from and I don't remember also I recorded this makeup look if you are interested Milani has the collection with salt and pepper and I did this little 80s inspired look or whatever so Ardell has a few I bought the wispies these are $15 and then these are $16.99. Does this one not come with the applicator? Ugh, I should have got the applicator. But it's all right, we go back. We gonna make this thing do what it does. I'm gonna do Ardell on the left, I lure on the right. Um, what style is this with them? This is the Fomink. These are real big and voluminous. So these Eyelores are the Faux Meat collection, which they're like way more popping. This is a more like popping lash. This one is a wispy. You know, it's the basic wispy. It gives you some, it gives you a good oomph. I can never open this up, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got them open, let's read the instructions so we can actually know how this goes because I don't be reading instructions. I just be doing what I think and I'll be mad when it's wrong. So I'm actually gonna read the instructions. What does it say? For Ardell, apply two coats of magnetic gel liner along the upper lash line. Um, place lashes on while liner is still wet. So I guess I'm gonna start with the Ardell and I'm gonna apply the first coat. I don't know what it means if you already have liner on because I do. I wasn't sure if I could like hit it with this. Go ahead and perfect the swing there, liner. <laughs> Out here, wing popping. All right. Took my wings to the next level. You know what? I haven't used a pot in so long, but I like how that looks. All right. Now for Eyelor. If I can get this thing on thing out. Why I always gotta be rocket science to get these shut down things out? No idea. The struggle I'll be having with packaging. So Eyelor is a paint on glue. So we're gonna paint this on, but this one says, oh, directions, hello. Okay, step one, apply liner and allow to dry. Step two, apply two more coats. So I'm gonna apply a coat. Let that dry. Come back to this Ardell. I'm gonna apply my second coat. And this to dry a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna put this eyelash on first. I have little eyes. I always have to cut my lashes. That's what happened with the other ones. They were too long and there was no way to cut them because of the way they were set up. This time around, you are able to cut them and I appreciate that. So, if you put it up close, I'm just gonna take off this first little section right here. Boom. 
taking my tweezers to apply these lashes. You guys, sorry that the mirror is in front. I couldn't see that while I was recording. Okay, Ardell, stick, and you might be one out here. Um, I cut them, it was perfect. I like how this looks, so that tote is dry. I'm gonna try to apply. A more coat but I will say to be honest I'm liking the formula of the liner um in Ardell and I'm wondering if I don't like this one if I can use this on the eye lower because they're all magnetic so let me let do some with this eye and then also let me look at these lashes because again I have small eyes so we can't handle all of that there's one, two, three. Oop, okay. One, two, three, four bands. So I'm gonna cut off where that fourth band starts. So that it's not dragging my eye down. But the magnet keeps sticking to my scissors. Stop it. All right, all right, all right. Do you want the coats? All right, I'm gonna do this last coat. See what it do. That line thick, thick. All right. I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit because I don't know if it's like normal lashes. Do they slip and slide? Don't let me down. You know what? You better go on this stick. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay. Now, clearly, as I'm looking, I want two very different lashes. This is more subtle. This is a little vavoom. But they seem to be sticking. Wait, hold on. Nope. They seem to be sticking, so I'm gonna be honest. What I heard was that the Eyler lash was like not as good. I don't know if it was the glue, but it seems to be sticking fine. And it's already had liner on, so I'll put these liners on over the liner. And I also don't know if they read the directions because the directions said apply three coats. This one said apply two. Um, this one was like one and the other one. This was like one, let it dry, then quickly apply two. So I don't know if they read the directions. I don't know if when they applied the second one, like if they let it sit long enough or what. But I'm gonna get up close, up in here and let y'all see them. Eye lure. And this is a faux mink lash. Oh, these give you 15 wears. These just say reusable. This one has a much thicker band, so I do feel like you're gonna get more use out of it. Hold on, let me get it close to the other one. So, my thoughts on this is, how many styles does the RL one come in? Do they have it in their um, double ups? I would say if you want a more dramatic lash to go with Eyelore, they're gonna last at least 15 wears. That's what's a guarantee. If you like a more natural, like I just put on my eyeliner, I want my lash, I'm not trying to be all dramatic lash, then I would do the Ardell's. Um, these are 15, these are $16.99. Um, in general, Eyelura are a little bit more expensive because I would say they're more like higher quality. But um, I would say um, I'm honestly good with either one. Um, this is more of my natural day this is more of my dramatic day and that's all i have to say you guys um comment down below if you have tried any of these let me know what your experience is um let me know if you're feeling them let me know what you think also if you guys are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button um again if you want to see this video for this makeup look i will link it for you below or above or somewhere over here thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to, again, join the Crystal Shell family for more um, like hair tutorials and makeup um, and first impressions. 
and with that said you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah.